Right before we jump into this video, did you know that I'm giving away a camera valued up to $3,300? Well, if not, go to bit.ly slash megafro to get entered to win that camera. Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and welcome back to another Squarespace rapid fire critique where I take one of your websites and give it a critique eat McCritiquerson. No matter what you build your website in. So over here today we've got Austin Christopher Russell. I believe it's Russell. It's just a little hard to read that up there at the top. Let me just say this. If you'd like to submit your website for a possible critique and go to bit.ly slash fro critiques. That's where you can submit for your chance to be critiqued. Just keep in mind, there's about 7,000 people ahead of you, but that's not how I pick them. I pick them when they come in and I see something I like, there's a possibility I'll critique it. So here is the first one. We've got, this is the homepage. You get to the homepage and you're like, oh, all right, I see some cool pictures. Let's scroll a little bit and see what we've, holy Jesus. That is way too much scrolling on a front page of a website. In my personal opinion, I either want to see a clean look at a selection that you can make. Would you like to go with A? Would you like to go with B? Or your best gallery, your portfolio, what you want to be known for. When I see this long and winding website road of image after image after image, I don't know what you want to be known for. It's just way too many photos. I personally like seeing galleries that you can just cycle through, just like we're doing right now. We are quickly, easily going through and be like, oh, these are pretty. Look, I'm pregnant and I'm happy. Look, ma, I got knocked up and I'm having a baby and there's horses in the background. Would have been funny if the horse was just looking here. Um, the one thing that I noticed right off the rip, well, I do like this person's photos, but Austin, Christopher, Russell, photographer photography is on every single picture. There's been the debate forever about uh, watermarks. Do you do watermarks? Do you not do watermarks? I did watermarks for a long time because I wanted people to know that they're my photos. And then I look at that and I'm like, my photos look like shit because it has a watermark. These look terrible because it has a massive watermark. I'm not worried about somebody stealing these photos like this. I do understand a small watermark. It would be great if every photo you put everywhere had the metadata that always stayed with it that said whose photo it was but it doesn't. Or if we came up with some kind of method of hiding the name of the photographer that if you did X, like zoomed in 20 times, you could see the name somewhere in a print, uh, in, in a photo, that would be kind of cool. But I think it takes away from the images on your website. As I've said before, on social media, I'm more apt to say, put a watermark there that's not as distracting as this so that people know that it's coming from you if somebody shared it uh, or took your image and then reposted it and didn't share it from you originally. So I'm not for that. What do you guys think? Down below, watermark, no watermark, or a combination of both. I'm gonna go back to the homepage here because this is built on web, uh, Squarespace. I did look it up. It says, uh, let's see, inspect, and then we've got control F. Squarespace and it says this is a Squarespace. So yes, you can see that this was designed on Squarespace. I just don't like this en entrance page. So let me show you something real quick. JaredPolin.com. And as you can see, when we get to my page, I give you that choice. Would you like to go to six degrees or would you like to see photo stories? Now, at some point, maybe I'll have a portfolio to land on, but I want you to be able to be like, oh, I wanna go and see what photo stories you have. And then I figured this out through Squarespace, how to build this page, which I kinda of like seeing a thumbnail and then being able to choose from it uh, which way I want to go. Okay, let's go to six degrees line one because that's basically where it should take me. So I don't know if I need to make this clickable or what, but anyway, it shows me all six of degree one. I'm still designing it. Maybe it would be cool to have all the degrees underneath too so that it scrolls on the page. I haven't decided how I wanna do that yet or if I wanna have it be six degrees, line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, so on and so forth for people to go ahead and click and see each individual one. But this isn't about my website, which by the way, is not perfect. 
It just works for me and I'm happy that I'm capable of showing it with Squarespace. Oh, and by the way, I am gonna plug Squarespace right here. If you are looking for a turnkey solution to build your very own space online, your own portfolio, I highly recommend Squarespace. It's what I've been using since the early forms of jaredpoland.com before Frono's Photo, which was over 10 years ago. If you wanna check it out, go to squarespace.com slash fro. You can get a 14 day free trial if you decide that it's for you. Use the code fro at checkout to get 10% off, and that also helps me because that is my affiliate link. So let's jump back in here. So I like the photos, there's just too many pictures. I, I don't know what this, what am I doing? Whoa, look at her muscles. She works out, that girl works out. Look at the bokeh, uh, uh, all right, no, not to my site. Let's go back here. So let's see what we have. Then we've got, we've got portraits and headshots, which is I guess he wants to be known for, but I would get rid of Oh, so many of these. Like, I see, I kind of see portraits. I guess I can see headshots somewhere. I like this stuff. Like, it's it's nice work, but segment it better. Uh, yeah, just segment it better, in my opinion. There's a lot of stuff here, but it's just all over the place. So under portraits and headshots, maybe have a drop-down menu that's like family pictures, kid pictures, uh, whatever, uh, environmental portraits. Then we got food and beverage. So let's see what we've got when we click here. Holy shit. Way too many. Again, pick your best of the best. And by the way, stuff like this should be somewhere else. And now not only do we have one watermark, but we have two watermarks that I absolutely hate. Oh, but what is that? Is that Caprese chicken? Oh boy. Our one-of-a-kind seafood dish, grilled mahi topped with locally grown tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, basil, finished with sweet balsamic reduction, served with rice and vegetables for $25.99. Oh my God, I want that. I want that in and around my mouth right about now. That is what I would eat. Oh my God, that sounds good. I love photos of food. I think every menu should have photos of the food because that's how I purchase food. I want to see it. I need to see my food. Okay, so... Oh, oh, I have to hit the escape, I have to hit escape to go back. Great food stuff, that looks wonderful. A Caesar salad with fried onion things, which are probably tasty with, oh God, chicken. Oh my, oh, look at this eggs and avocado. Woo, I wanna eat this food. I don't wanna eat that pizza though. I don't wanna eat that either. But this is great. But what the big shots, golf, like why, Cobalt, why do we have all of these other brands on here? Get them out of here. This is your stuff, this is great stuff. I really like this. Ooh, that looks great with that, oh my God, scampi and stuff. So this food photography looks, where's the dessert? Oh, there's the dessert, high chocolate cake. I'm going to Riverside to eat, I hate tapas. Anyway, this is good stuff, but way too many images. Separate it into a couple of great food shots that are dark, so a couple that are, are light, a couple of others. Show them 15 pictures and be done with it. Real estates and architecture. All right, real estate, same thing. We're gonna keep scrolling. I, I like seeing a checkerboard personally of images to go through. Um, so I don't like this right here, that, that that sticks out right there. That's a distraction. And I'm no, I'm no great architectural photographer, but yeah, this stuff looks good from a conference. All these photos are good. I'm really happy with your work. I just think that it needs to be split up better. Creating your vision. We, who's we? I just think it's just you, Austin. Uh, we will start by discussing the type of oh, we, the, the we between you and the client. I get it now. Uh, services include free consultation, location photo session with required equipment. Well, no shit, of course you want that, but I guess it's good that you say it. Use of professional digital full frame DSLRs for exceptional image quality. Just say I use the best professional gear possible and just go from there. Digital retouching and editing for select photographs chosen by the photographer. I do not include that in my anything. I, I hate when people ask, do you retouch images? Um, no, that's your face. Your face looks like that. No, I will not take 50 pounds off of you because no, that's what you look like. <laughs> Subtle things, yes. And of course I retouch images or not retouch, I edit my images. And if there's a blemish that shouldn't normally be there, then yeah, I could see taking it out, but I don't change personal looks. How somebody looks is how they look. I don't change it. I don't make their nose smaller because they think their nose is too big. That's on them. Makeup, hairstyle, okay, so there's lots of stuff. Common photo session pricing. 
Portrait sessions, $250, one location, one look, 20 plus photos. Uh, product session, concert event session, boudoir set. I mean, your prices are cheap. Creative session, question mark, question mark. Let's create something amazing. I think you're undervaluing your work, to be honest with you. Your work is very good. I, I don't know why. I think your work, I think it's too cheap. I think what you're saying here is too cheap. I think you, you can put a starting point. I'm not a fan of putting session pricings. I would put things like starts at X for the very minimum, but can go up to the moon depending on what you would like. Let's discuss this to see where what we can work with with your budget. What are you waiting for? Above is a general, what are you waiting for? Personal photo sessions, commercial photo sessions, clients, all right, I got all that. Uh, prints, this is interesting. I, I kind of like that you show what you can, what kind of prints there are, but I don't give a shit about Kodak and Dora Luster E. Like people don't know this. They just want you to make the decision for them. What do you recommend? But I do like that you have these options, so at least it gets people thinking about prints, because people don't do a lot of prints anymore. By the way, I'm doing 365 prints giving away in 2019. The sponsor of that is Canon Printer Division. That's right. I'll have more information on how you can enter to win my prints for free. Signed, numbered, one of 365 for 19, all the way up to 365. I'm giving them all away for free. No questions asked. Thanks to Canon Printers for sponsoring that. I just didn't know I was gonna throw that in there, but might as well. Your gallery about page. Let's, let's read some about. About me, hello, my name is Austin and welcome to my website. I'm sure you are here because you are interested in my services as a photographer. How are you sure about that, Austin? Or you might have stumbled across this page on accident. Well, I doubt that because I don't know how you accidentally stumble upon Aus, uh, arussellphoto.com. Maybe you do. Regardless, I would like to speak to you about my passion for the visual arts. Ever since I was a child, I was interested in film and photography. I remember using my father's old VHS video camera and his Canon A1. All right, I guess a backstory is kind of nice, makes people think about their father, as long as that was a good thing to think about. Photography is a constant learning experience. With every new lens, camera, and project I embark on, I always learn something new. I'm not sure I want to do that because when I read that, I'm like, ooh, does, are you not like the person I want? Because are you going to make a mistake on my shoot? When I think of a learning process, I honestly think about learn by making mistakes sometimes. So I maybe would consider not saying that. My goal is to help you achieve your vision. I like that. Um, the skills I have acquired over the years Whatever, that's good. I will not be happy until you are happy. I don't like saying that. Feel free to have a look around my website and check out my portfolio section. Well, which one is your portfolio section? Uh, uh, well, exactly, I don't see one. I don't see one, I see a bunch of everything else. I will not be happy until you are happy. Don't do that. Don't give them an out to say, well, I'm not happy, and you're like, well, why aren't you happy? My photos are incredible. Look how amazing they are. Well, I'm not happy. And then you're like, well, what do I need to do to make you happy? And they're like, I'm not happy. I want my money back. I don't care. I want to keep the photos too. Don't set yourself up for arguments. Well, it says you won't be happy until I'm happy, so I'm not happy. What are you going to do about it, Austin? So I'd be careful with that. Thank you again for stopping by Austin Russell Photography. Visit the contact section to get in touch. Why don't you link to the contact section, contact section right here so you could link there to help start building their blah, blah, blah. Uh, testimonials. I love that you are showing photos of the people. I hate that you're showing all these stars because you've got like one, two, three, four, five stars out of five. Five stars out of five. Five stars out of five. Where's the three stars? How come there's no stars here at the... Oh, there are. That's a purple heart and a star. Look, get rid of the freaking stars. They're leaving you a testimonial because, well, you're not going to put shitty testimonials on your website. The stars don't do it. Because if I can't, ch like, how do you choose? Five stars out of five, yay. It's like, okay, great. He's great. Like, I like that. I like the testimonials, which I didn't even read, but I like the photos of the people underneath. That makes them realize like, oh shit, this stuff is good. And those people are real. It makes it more real. The stars make it stupid. Get rid of the stars. Clients, we've got Instagram. Let's see what we got with Instagram. Austin Russell. Austin Russell Photography, Vero Beach Photographer covering the Treasure Coast. Well, I don't know the Treasure Coast. I don't know the Treasure Coast. Oh, he follows me. Let's follow him back. I'll probably get all scared. Like, why did Jared follow me? So we've got contact page. 
This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship, I, I guess. I, I hate sh I, I hate stuff like that. I hate, I person. that's me, you can keep it, but fill out the short form to connect, contact Austin Russell Photography. We will promptly reply to your inquiry. How promptly will you do it? Ah, I wish I had my audio, my Rodecaster Pro here, because I would call the guy, but you don't want to listen to that anyway. So Thumbtack Professional, that's nice. Austin Russell Photography, five reviews on Thumbtack. Mm, yay. Um, I don't even know what Thumbtack is, personally, never used it. I like that you show that you take credit cards. That's cool. Add Apple Pay, so you can show that. Um, you got your, net, your, your email, which isn't clickable right here. You've got your phone number, where you are. I like what's going on for the most part. Your photos are very good. It's presented well, it's clean, it's nice with the white back. I like the white background, that's what I'm talking about with it's clean and your images look good, except for all the watermarks and the fact that you say, check out my portfolio, and I'm like, well, okay, which one's your portfolio? Because I see one, two, three, four different things to choose from. There's too much, too many options. Let's see the best, like food photography, bam. Portraits and headshots, show me the best ones. And then if you want to have, have, have subcategories of those, have subcategories of those, but shorten this up. There's too many here. I shouldn't have to scroll that many times to go and see these photos. There's just too many for my personal taste. Oh, Jesus, Austin, what the hell are you thinking with this one? I like the photo, except for the fact that the, this kid's not paying attention. This guy's like, say cheese, don't fall into the water. I like the photo, but is it, is, unless, is this your family? Like, is this Austin Christopher Russell's family right here? I don't think so. So back to the homepage. Uh, I, I, I hate baby photography, newborn photography, but that's my personal preference. I know a lot of people love it. I just can't, I can't stand it. Well, I guess it goes hand in hand because I also don't like maternity photos either. Yeah, that's just me. Don't, no, I'm not saying don't do it. That's cute though. Look at that, that's cute. The little mermaidy girl on the beach with the water in the background, that's cute. That's cute, okay, what else? I think that's gonna be it, guys. Like I said, this is brought to you by Squarespace. If you would like to get your own Squarespace site up and running, you get a 14-day free trial to check it out. Go to squarespace.com fro. If you decide that it's for you, use the code fro at checkout because that will save you 10% off your first order, and that's my affiliate code. It helps me to continue to make all of this content. So let me know what you think down below. If you'd like to submit your images or your websites to be critiqued, go to bit.ly slash fro critiques. And that's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.